Hello everyone. Today I decided to to learn in the base Midrash or the base Chabad in Kiat Arba. It's about a 20 minutes drive from Rolivia Maon, but they have a beautiful Koilun, good Avrechim, and a good Rosh Koiler, a Boya Sachoir. Amazing place. Uh, today I want to bring up a subject like uh, we, we spoke about it uh, not so long time ago. Like if we can, what uh, what Hashem Lakecha bechol levavcha bechol nafshecha bechol. It means like in our days that between with us. But now we are. But I want to emphasize a bit more now because we we actually we two weeks away from Pesach, two and a half weeks from Pesach, which Chodesh is on Shabbos. So yeah. So we had two weeks. In the time of Pesach, like all the Chagim, but now actually around Pesach time, a lot of people, needy people, need our help to make Pesach, to make the Chag respectfully, to, to, to mamish, do Chag the way it should be. So before some of you decide like, to put on this fancy schmancy menu, like to buy all the most expensive like dishes and the meat cuts and everything. Reflect on other people that e- that they can't even buy a chicken, more or less. Reflect upon them. That actually he remits what you're doing to to pay thousands of dollars for, for food when you know you have highly hidden your fellow brother and sister they can't even put the put passionate food on the table <coughs> do you really think that the Ibish enjoys your nachas more than if you help someone else out or many people even I'm telling you The nacha that you can give to the Oybish by helping someone else out is much greater than the nacha that you're giving to your own stomach. So for Shadavan, food enters and goes out. Food is pure gash meat in most cases. But when you think that you have some hidden can't even make a Seder like Ruchnu because they can't afford it. And when they're turning to you to ask for help and say, I don't have any money, sorry. That's a chutzpah towards a Gadosh Bafu. Because you don't care about him when you turn <laughs> down someone else for your own gashmu. For your own gash with needs, your own like needs have nothing to do with kedusha, nothing to have to do with to to lechaber to, with with oibish to, to connect with Hashem on a higher level. Because if you say that food makes me reach on a higher level, then you have actually a huge problem. But fine. If you first can help out your brothers and sisters and we need to help, you still have money over like to make a like, fantasy as a seder. Do it, no problem. But first look around and see the need of the fellow hidden. And it's not only like you say, fine, I gave my ten percent in tzedakah. Leave me alone. Chesed and not tzedakah is above. Because we have things we are obligated to do to be tzedakah. Then we have things to do because we really want to do it. And that's to give nachas to the, to the oibish. Then. And when the oibish you see the nachat, when he understands, when he feeling the nachat, gives it, we helping other people and turning down our own materialistic needs that have no foundation whatsoever. You know, gosh, you know, like a... Ruchnut life, our spiritual life. That's what Hashem wants. So don't see 
I give to duck already. I don't have to help out someone who can't even put like a matzah, some wine, and half a chicken on the table. To that guy, it's not that. Chesed is to help out in, in, in ways to look above your own needs. And they are not actually needs, because as I said, like whatever goes in, goes out. Everything is temporary. But when you're building up the Ruch life, you know, that's the Netzach. So I'm blessing all of you to help out to whoever needs your help without thinking it's a mitzvah, chesed, it is chesed. But you should do it because you want to do it, because you understand that their needs is on a ruchnot level. Your needs is on a gashmiot level. So best right Hashem this year, most of us will be able to celebrate Pesach. So the Yontif mean to feel like a real like a Yontif feeling. Both when obviously with the Ruchnut Mamish and also the Gashmiut. Uh, that we will not worry about how to afford it. Because we know we have people out there. A Kadosh Shluchim Shlichim. They can help us out because every dollar, shekel, cent, whatever you have, is from the Oibish. It's not yours. So I wish that we can all be either givers or receivers in the highest way possible and that we all can feel like both the gash mute out of it, but not gash mute, gash mute, but gash mute on the Ruchnut level. Have a great day, Kultufa.